Um, well, first and foremost, we're going to be headlining the Internet Bill of Rights. So the idea is that we need our constitutional rights to extend into the digital realm, the area where we live most of our lives these days. And so there's an Internet censorship portion of that. There's an AI portion of that. There's a brain interfacing portion of that. Um, and there's like a data collection portion of that. Um, the most prominent portion of that, the internet censorship one, the one most people are most animated about, I would say at this point in time, um, the general premise of that is we want to take these social media companies or ubiquitous forms of modern communication, right? Some of the biggest monopolies in the history of the world. And we want to say, look, you guys provide an essential service and, um, you know, you can't really run a business, a nonprofit or a political campaign in 2022 without social media. It's just not right. realistic. It's like trying to run right. a business without electricity or like a telephone. You just mm -hmm. can't really do it. So we need to call these people what they are. They are public utilities. They need to be classified as such mm. and they need to be regulated as such. And so we need to have that so they can say, you know, they can't shut off your phone because they don't like your politics. The phone company can't. Right. Power company can't shut off your electricity because they don't like your politics. So the social media companies can't cancel your social media because they don't like your politics, right? right? They get to choose one or the other. They get to keep their monopoly status and be public utilities and open to everybody. Or they need to be broken up. Um, I would prefer for the first option. I'm not really a huge fan of breaking them up because I think we have a uh, global competition with China that we need scale to be able to stay in the game in that race. So we just got to, you know, get make a Mac right. And we'll see. Maybe uh, Elon Musk, he take, took this big stake. Maybe he'll pull into Carl Icahn on for us and uh, run that board out of town, put some new people in there and just clean house. Yeah, come on. Which would know. be amazing. So, you know, he's right. he's rich enough. He could buy all of Twitter with 10% of his money. Yeah. 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 We, we have to lead the charge in the United States with the Internet Bill of Rights.